Uh, very good morning. Let's start a new topic which is uh, solid waste management. So let's see uh, what is uh, waste management. So before the many types of waste, today we'll be dealing only solid waste. The other common type of waste is hospital waste, which needs a uh, special uh, uh, precautions uh, for collection disposal and um, segregation but in solid waste management uh, the collection segregation and disposal is not uh, very uh, critical because it doesn't involve any infectious material but in biomedical waste uh, there are a lot of infectious uh, material so it can uh, cause and spread diseases like uh, HIV hepatitis B so solid waste management what we see in our common day-to-day uh, -day life uh, we see uh, the city uh, waste or uh, the municipality or the panchayat waste how the workers collect waste uh, from different bins on the street on the roads and they transport it to some place a uh, common place and they dispose it so this is what we are learning today about solid waste management Okay, so there are a lot of waste categories and its definition is not very important for us. So uh, the basic principle of any waste is, especially solid waste is reduce, reuse and recycle. That is the three R's of waste management. We need to reduce it like if you have disposable goods, paper plate, bowl, uh, plastic spoons, uh, such things uh, we can reduce and reuse the items which can be reused um, should be considered and there should be a recycling not just discarding it so so waste management this will be the scenario first there will be a storage of waste then collection transport and handling recycling and disposal so storage will be we know we have seen this type of bins in our streets and the collection house to house collection and from the public bins uh, the people scavengers will be collecting uh, the waste to a common spot and some of the waste will be recycled and others will be disposed okay so these are the basic methods of waste disposal so the first one is dumping uh, so this is a uh, commonly asked question dumping control tipping incineration all these questions are very important for the exam so the common practice seen in our country especially in our uh, country which is a third world country or a developing country is dumping the second one is control tipping or sanitary landfill incineration composting manual pit sand burial the first one is dumping so the dumping is just dumping a waste on a common spot which is away from the public or which is uh, away from city limits where the problems of this waste is not causing any innovations uh, to the public. So this is just uh, dumping of uh, whatever waste we collect from the streets, roads, households will dump to the law lying area uh, so it is uh, the most unsanitary method most unacceptable method um, anywhere it is not uh, practiced in anywhere in europe or western countries but still it is the most common practice uh, adopted or happened to adopt in our country so the problem is it is very openly placed so it is exposed to flies and rodents the nuisance it may disperse by wind it will fall into a uh, well reverse and it will contaminate our water drinking water so they we just dump it and we uh, are not looking back to it and so the next method is control tipping control tipping or sanitary landfill it is somewhat a satisfactory method uh, compared to our dumping because uh, there will be a compacted uh, earth that we cover the waste with uh, earth at the end of each working day so the problems of dumping are solved now 
because once we cover the waste with earth there won't be any nuisance for smell or chances of flying the waste into water bodies as salt so where we uh, place this waste is when we get a suitable land uh, we keep the waste over there and we'll compact it and cover it with uh, excavated earth uh, every day or on a regular interval so that it won't create nuisance to the public uh, so there's three methods basically trench method ram method and area method so uh, refuse is compacted on its exposed surface uh, with excavated earth of uh, 30 centimeters so every day or on a regular interval this uh, refuse or this waste uh, will be covered with earth of 30 centimeter okay so the first one is trench method uh, we create trenches so we create trenches we dig trenches of uh, 6 to 10 feet deep and 12 to 36 feet wide so what we do is we uh, compact the refuse and covered with excavated earth whatever waste we have we put it into its uh, trench of 6 to 10 feet deep and 12 to 36 wide and we put excavated earth over it so refuse is filled up to 6 feet uh, so it can be uh, used uh, in one acre land per year for 10,000 population so this is trench where a suitable uh, land is available that is a flat land is available but in ramp method if we don't have a flat land and the area is a terrain or moderately uh, the terrain is uh, moderately sloping so you can uh, go for a ramp method the same uh, uh, the same method but the problem is uh, if it is a sloping area we have to dig in a, that fashion and the same uh, pattern will be followed uh, we put the refuse and then we'll uh, put the excavated earth the area method is something like where we already have some land depression or disused quarries or clay pits the land is already not available so we go for some uh, uh, land depressions or uh, quarries and clay pits so the refuse is deposited packed and consolidated in uniform layers for six to eight weeks each layer is sealed with a mud cover at least 12 inches uh, the problem is we have to get the mud or excavated earth from outside because the land is already present in the trench and uh, ram method we are excavating it so the mud or uh, excavated earth will be present at the site itself so you can just uh, refill after the refuse so in land depression or area method the excavated earth or mud is not present so we have to get the mud or excavated earth from outside and seal it so sealing will prevent all the nuisance smell dust and infestation of flies and rodents so what happens uh, once you cover it with uh, mud there will be chemical bacteriological and physical action so the temperature will keep on rising up to uh, 60 degrees celsius or more within seven days and kill all the pathogens and decomposition will happen and it takes four to six months for a complete decomposition but what we do is we will not use the same site twice because the segregation or proper disposal has not happened we just covered it with earth the dumping site if you covered with earth it becomes sanitary landfill or control tipping uh, the main problem of uh, this one is see the landfill uh, we dig it we cover it with uh, earth after the refuse uh, then after uh, four to six months uh, the decomposition will be complete this is already uh, present some area method the land depression the main problem with uh, this sanitary landfill method is the gas produced after four to six months is methane or the methane will be keep on producing and which is not a good uh, good byproduct from the waste because it is uh, one of the contributing factor for um, global warming because since it is a greenhouse um, gas so uh, methane gas can cause uh, global warming so this is not also an acceptable method but it is way better than dumping so we follow it
the third one is incineration actually this incineration is nothing but burning of the uh, waste this is most commonly used in medical waste management that will be dealt in the next class incineration uh, the volume of uh, waste will be drastically reduced so it will be reduced to 20 to 30 percentage so there are various types of incinerators single chamber double chamber and rotary kin so that will be dealt in detail uh, in when we study biomedical waste management so this is solid waste management so we have incinerators we have seen incinerators in uh, portable incinerators or uh, many places the common um, combustible materials will be composted and there will be uh, refuse it will be uh, refuse will be uh, disposed to uh, in area method or some other uh, open spaces so incineration is nothing but burning of the product or the waste so the most acceptable and most uh, co commonly used practice by the western countries or european countries is composting so compost is uh, we have seen compost in uh, our villages uh, where the biogas we create from the compost and the cow dung compost we have seen so it is a bacteriological action where the byproduct is carbon dioxide instead of methane so carbon dioxide water and heat will be byproducts byproducts so at the end of this compost um, of this composting process we get a compost which is of manual values so we can use it for plants so it is like mm, combining the refuse with sludge so sludge and refuse should be combined on a, a particular manner then only this composting will be uh, proper and the proper compost will be produced so we have three methods in compost one is bankler method mechanical composting and vermicomposting so the raw material is like organic matter we can't uh, add all the plastics and other stuffs which uh, were not seen in our sanitary landfill or dumping there no segregation was happened but in composting proper segregation should be there only organic matter we can um, include the other things we need to remove and we need to add water so finally we produce humus which is come humus uh, microorganisms and uh, it will become organic matter which is of manual values you can um, use it for uh, plants and trees so the common method is bangalore method or it is also known as hot fermentation process or anaerobic method it is invented by iasc in bangalore indian council of agricultural research so you have to dig a, uh, you have to dig a trench in on uh, exactly three feet deep five to eight feet broad and 15 to 30 feet long then only this process will work as planned so what we do is we keep on adding refuse and night soil 15 centimeter 5 centimeter fashion so first we add refuse then we will add a layer of night soil refuse night soil refuse night soil and refuse and over the last layer so by this uh, length it will that the depth was three feet so three feet is over so we'll add excavated earth on this so there will be bacterial action and there will be byproduct of carbon dioxide and water and heat so over four to six months it will become a uh, manure or compost that can be used for agricultural purpose so this is Bangalore method. This is uh, excavated earth placed. So underneath this refuse night soil layers were placed for three feet. Okay, so three feet depth and five to eight feet broad and fifteen to thirty feet long. So you can see that fifteen to thirty feet long, five to eight feet broad and three feet deep. So this is an aerobic method because we are covering it. So only no aerobic process will happen because of absence of oxygen. So there will be an aerobic uh, fermentation process will happen and reproduced carbon dioxide, water and heat. So this is given uh, by a scientist named L. N. Acharya. Yeah, I was talking about IAC Bangalore in 1939. So this is an aerobic method uh, and the material is allowed to 
use after four to six months. So whereas the mechanical composting, the second part of composting that is aerobic method. Anaerobic we are using an anaerobic process, but it is aerobic method. This is commonly used in Western countries. So first the material will be screened and they will be pulverized. They will be crushed to a particle size less than two inches and they will mix it with uh, the other refuse and they will incubate it and process completed in four to six weeks. So recycling will be the first part is we'll screen it if it is pulverizable. So then we'll crush into or we'll degrade into very less amount, mm, very less uh, small particle that is less than two inch particle and mix it with other refuse or we can use it for other purpose because it is not anymore creating any uh, nuisance or any other problems because we have destroyed it or we have uh, reduced it to a less size so four to six weeks uh, it will be completed so there will be big machines of this mechanical composting uh, for uh, pulverizing this material into less than two inches so since it is happening in open air uh, the machine will be uh, com always open so there will be oxygen contact all the time so it is known as aerobic method so the last one is vermicomposting it is a kitchen waste and other waste will keep it in a garbage so it will after end of some uh, four to six months we can use it for agriculture that is vermicomposting we commonly use kitchen waste the manure pit is just a pit where it can be used um, like in our uh, village uh, homes there will be two pits commonly and they will keep on adding cow dung where cow, cows are there the cow dung will be added to one pit with leaves and other waste and the other pit will be empty so after four to six months uh, after once uh, the first pit is uh, completed we cover it and then we'll keep on adding waste to the second pit and we wait for four to six months for the first pit to become a proper manure and we'll use it for agricultural purpose so the time being we can use second pit so we'll always be needing two pits so one we keep on adding uh, one, one, until it uh, fills then we use the second pit and we wait for four to six months for the first pit to become manure and the last one is burial so when we go for a small camp of or have a very small function we can use a trench of 1.5 meter wide and 2 meter deep and the refuse covered with 20 centimeter of excavated earth so this also can be a uh, method in solid waste management so these are the six methods of solid waste management so i'll just go for a recap the first one is dumping first one is dumping then control tipping of sanitary landfill in dumping, we just place it in open place, nuisance, rod and flies, or contamination of water bodies, all smell is problem. Control tipping, uh, we have trench method, lamp, ram method, and area method. Trench method is uh, when land is available, uh, we put the refuse and we we'll, uh, cover it with excavated earth. Ram method, where the terrain is sloping, and we follow the same uh, trench trench one uh, 6 to 10 feet and 12 to 36 feet uh, wide so it can be used for 10,000 people uh, for one year if uh, one acre land present so area method is naturally uh, occurring depressions or quarries or clay pits will be used and it is uh, 6 to 8 feet mm, refuse is added then at least 12 inches of excavated earth or mud should be placed over it the problem is we have to get the mud or excavated from outside because it is already uh, existing a land depression it's clay uh, or the clay pits or quarries so the chemical and bacteriological physical options will occur so there will be heat production 60 degrees celsius and four to six months but the main problem is there will be methane gas production which is caused for global warming incineration is combustion uh, the volume will be drastically reduced there will be simple chamber, double chamber and 
uh, rotary kins it will be dealt in biomedical waste management composting is the most accepted method it has bank lure mechanical and vermi composting instead of methane the byproduct is carbon dioxide there will be proper um, dis dis proper uh, disaggregation and proper segregation of material only compose only uh, organic matter will be added to the pit so finishing uh, um, product or compost will be used for agricultural purpose so bangalore method 3 into 5 into 8 feet into 15 to 30 feet long this is uh, deepness and broadness and length so 15 centimeter refuse 5 centimeter night soil will be kept on adding uh, until 3 feet then we'll add excavated earth like this and we'll wait for 4 to 6 months it was given by Ellen acharya in 1939 Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. So there will be carbon dioxide production. So it can be used um, uh, as an agricultural manual. So mechanical composting, where the material is segregated, screened, and pulverized into less than two inches, and that will be uh, used or that will be disposed. Uh, once it is less than two inches, it won't have any uh, problems, such as a nuisance or any. Mm, problem of a waste okay so the vermicomposting also kitchen waste will be added to the compost and we can use it uh, for the agricultural purpose which is very eco-friendly mano pits we usually keep two mano pits one get fills uh, and we start using second we cover it with earth in the first one after four to six months again we use for agricultural purpose so there will be always two pits and burial is for small camps we take a trench of 1.5 meter and 2 meter deep so that's all about solid waste management next uh, i will come up with the hospital waste or biomedical waste management thank you